What do you think? Bear? Something with teeth and claws. I'm Jameson. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house, left our lives in Southern California, and are headed north to Alaska, where we can be closer to my brothers, Adam and Justin. Last time on Shots of Jameson, we put our whole rig on a boat near Seattle, finally crossed over the Canadian border, and made our first stop in Canada at an amazing campsite. Wow, it has been one heck of a day. We just drove for seven straight hours to get here to Ten Mile Lake Provincial Park and kind of an anticlimactic beginning, I guess this is going to be because we're at the dump station and water fill here at the park. And the reason for that is because we drove the whole 350, 400 miles roughly with full black and gray tanks and no water. So now we have to fill up on water and dump our black and gray tanks. We couldn't dump it at the park we were previously at because they didn't have a dump station. And when we tried to find one on the way here, we couldn't get into it because there was a power line hanging super low. So we just kind of said, you know what? Screw it, we'll just drive the whole way there. And that is what we did. And that is how we got in this situation. Close this, keep those skeeters from getting in here. All right, how are we doing on the fresh water fill? We're almost there, two thirds. While we're waiting for this water to fill, we are going to be here for two full days. And that's the only site we're gonna be at for two days. Every other one is just one night. And the reason for that is because we knew we were gonna have a big drive and we didn't wanna just jump right back in the car tomorrow. So an entire day here to explore, look around. And the other piece of good news is that we generated a ton of solar today. Let me show you that. This is the total amp hours that we've generated for today. 187 amp hours, which is just about half of the capacity of our entire battery bank. Uh, so that's awesome sauce. That means we can flip the refrigerator over to blah, the refrigerator over to electric for a bit, save a little bit of propane, and save a little bit of money. Two hours later. Turns out that we can't use the dump station because it's a pay-to-use dump station, and it does not accept credit cards and you have to have a token which we cannot get it also takes quarters but it's canadian quarters and we don't have any of those so we are unable to use the dump station so we came to our site which is actually that one over there but it is too small for us to squeeze into so instead we came over here to use this site which we have backed into unfortunately this site is so unlevel from side to side that this front left jack right here, error left front jack, manually retract all jacks. We were doing the auto level process like normal and the thing just shut off all of a sudden. That's the first time that that has happened. So I'm not sure what that problem is, but there's more. When we were moving the trailer from our original spot over there to this spot right here, I noticed that the right rear trailer tire was locking up and dragging on the ground. So this presents multiple problems. The first of which <laughs> is that we cannot use this site we are in because the trailer is extremely unlevel and we have to retract the jacks. But we can't move the trailer because the right rear wheel is locked up. And this is after seven hours of driving. This sucks. Okay, here, so here's the plan of attack. Decision reached. We are going to hook the trailer up and move it and watch the wheel closely and see how it fares. Okay, so here is our disassembled drum brake off of the back of the trailer. And you can see here that this is the pad uh, off of the brake, and this should not be disconnected. Okay, tire, come to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tire, come down, we'll keep you rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I saw you push that crosswalk button for us. <laughs> Take care, guys. I mean, I don't know if you're ever in Canada with like a tire problem or whatever, but okay, tire. Just in, in Quinell. In in Quinell, just majorly saved our butts. So, if you guys are watching this, thank you again. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so what happened? Well, what we thought was burned out bearings actually turned out to be a delaminated brake pad. The detached pad was jammed up inside the drum for a period of time, causing the trailer wheel to lock up. Luckily, it freed itself, allowing us to limp the trailer into the nearest town. After searching four or five shops with no luck, we pulled into an okay tire in Quenelle, Canada. The guys there were amazing. They just happened to have all the repair parts we needed and had us on our way in just a couple hours. While it is unfortunate that our one full free day got eaten up doing repairs, it is extremely fortunate that we had a full day planned because otherwise we would have lost a day in our travels. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can check out more videos coming in the future. And be sure to join us next time when we push further north into Canada where the adventure continues. This is the pad that's supposed to be on there, right?